All right, we are back with the morning video today. We have a Bennett versus Gyarados battle for you, a little best <laughs> of one. We're gonna see Bennett absolutely thrash the poor Magikarps. Yay! Uh, <laughs> or the Gyarados. We have a newer player with us taking up the mantle for Gyarados. Um, there are probably some misplays on both sides, but let's let's be nice. Um, we're gonna have some fun with this. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not I'm just gonna cut it straight. I don't think Gyarados is good at all. Um, we won. At least deck. not currently. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> I just don't, especially not with Mariah I'm running around. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think it's good at all. I think it's a fun deck to take to play with kids or, you know, maybe the league challenge a pretty For a lively area. grouping. Yes, for, for a lively <laughs> grouping. Um, but yeah, pretty definitely, much definitely not especially competitive. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to let Bennett uh, run it over real fast. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see who gives up the ghost first. <laughs> if it's an uh, indicator of last week's video. Yeah. All right. So, uh, for those that saw uh, Friday's live stream video, um, I'm going to be running uh, Bennett, or as we have now been calling it, Bannett. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm running the clef key, uh, which. It's going to be more effective against Lost Box, but if you watch the full video last week, uh, Game 2 really started off with Klefki really hindering that Leafeon. Yeah. Um, so it, it does help in certain matchups when you need it, and that one just helps not have a energy acceleration that you had to deal with in the next following turn. Um, so Prank Lock, for those that are not familiar with the new Klefki, um, as long as it is, this Pokemon is in the active, each player's basic Pokemon in play have no abilities except for Prank Lock. Then we are running one Ralts from Silver Tempest uh, for the memory skip for the uh, attack lock. Um, then we are running three Ralts from La um, Astro Radiance for the 70 HP. That way it survives those snipes from um save a lie save a lie by not getting two knockouts rather than they each that, have to take that one. particular relative looks really good because that tell is it blast right teleportation blast yeah so it's just putting on with one of your yeah so you get so like it in. is also a switch out if you start with it you yeah you just well jab it's nice because you can get a you can get a clefki down and then switch or mm, switch it out yeah. and put the clefki in the active spot yep just wait for jet energy yeah, don't. <laughs> um, then we have Curly, a uh, uh, four line for that refinement, or as some older players know, trait. Uh, discard card, you draw two. Uh, then we have two Gardevoir X's, so Psychic Embrace. Uh, for those that are not familiar with Psychic Embrace, it is a new ability coming with Scarlet and Violet base. Um, as often as you like, during your turn, you may attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your psychic Pokemon. If you do, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. However, you cannot use this ability to attach energy to a Pokemon that has 20 HP or less remaining. So you cannot kill your own Pokemon. Um, this is not Jirachi uh, Metal. This is not Commander Magic. Weird. Not killing our own stuff to benefit from it. Um, then you have one Glade uh, with the Buddy Catch. So um, getting those supporters when you need them. Uh, those very specific supporters when you need them. Um, ended up really helping last week. Uh, getting that boss's order. Um, or even if you need a judge for some disruption. You yeah, know. The, the Glade is extraordinarily good. It's... it's... If you're Staple. running the Curly, if you yes, it is. If you are running the Curly engine, you should be playing the Glade. And like you've got Greninjas, you've got a Secret Luminion. Like Shop all it. there. Shop all it actually line. put some work in last week, uh, for a turn. Um yeah, so wrapped in shadow for a psychic, it does ten damage. However, you do flip a coin. If heads during your opponent's next turn, they cannot play any item cards from their hand. But if it shuff it stays around long enough, you get into the Bannet or AKA the Bannet um, EX. 
Um, so for 250 HP, it is a two prizer where it's first attack for a single psychic uh, energy for 30 damage. It is Eternal Darkness. During your opponent's next turn, they cannot play any items, uh, cards from their hand. So it is an item lock. However, for a psychic and a colorless, you have Poltergeist. Uh, Poltergeist uh, does 60 times. Your opponent reveals their hand. This attack does 60 damage for each trainer card you find there. Not each item, each trainer card. So that does include supporters, items, tools, and stadiums. Then we have the big scary boy. Well, the other big scary boy. Uh, being Mewtwo v Union, uh, which has definitely been putting in work every time that this deck has been played. Um, and then following that up, we do have a single Radiant Greninja, because we can only play one and not multiple of uh, Radiance. Um, sad face. Then that is it for the Pokemon, and we move on to our supporters. So for our supporters, we do have four researches for that card draw, and possibly discarding the V-Unions, or other stuff that you want discarded. Then we do have two bosses orders for that gusting, two judges for some disruption. Then we do have a single Cheryl for some healing, uh, like if you need to heal those Binets, uh, if you need to heal the Gardevoir X, maybe even the Gallade, but it's primary probably don't be used on either the Gardevoirs or the Binets. Uh, then you do have one Peonia, uh, for if you are missing some of your V Union pieces, um, if you I think watch two weeks ago uh, that stream I did prize one of the Mew two V Union pieces, I was able to play Piona. Unfortunately, I did not get it off the three that I chose. But then when I took next prize cards, I can actually choose from the other spots that it possibly was in. Ended up getting it, so you can actually map out where some of the stuff you are missing is because Peonia does not require you to shuffle your prize cards um, because it's just you choose up to three you put them in your hand and then you choose that many from your hand and put them back into your prize card um, so then that is it for supporters for items we do have four fog crystals to go search out your basic uh psychic pokemon you cannot search out a mutual union because it is not a bi basic uh, but or you can go get the energy so like if you need that energy attachment for turn go ahead and go get it then you do have the level ball so you can get basic pokemon with it or you can even get the curlias to start your trading or re refinement then you do have nest ball nest ball best ball um so you can get klefki you can get ralt you can get shop it or even the greninja with the nest ball then you do have four Ultra Balls, so this is a very hefty search line. It is all the search, minus the Battle VIP passes um, and Great Balls and whatnot. But you have your Ultra Ball, you can literally go, you can discard a Mewtwo V Union pieces to go get another V Union piece. You can go get the Nets, the Gardevoirs, the Glade, you can get any Pokemon you want. Then we do have three Beach Courts. Um, so Beach Court is a new stadium that states that the retreat cost of each basic Pokemon in play is one colorless less. Then we are running eight Psychic Energy. I know last week I originally said four, but I was thinking four because I was going four, four, but it is eight. And that is the uh, Bayonet Mewtwo V Union. Abomination. <laughs> yeah, that is the Bayonet. Uh, all right. So for Gyarados, we are starting out with the three copies of Magikarp from Pokemon Go. Uh, we want this one in particular because Magikarp has an attack. Can you read that out real quick? Gladly grouping. Search your deck for any number of Magikarp, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So then shuffle your deck. Seems good. Uh, you can grab your Magik other Magikarps, get them out, and ready to level up. Uh, then you also have... Two copies of Gyarados. Gyarados X from Scarlet Violet base set has an attack for three water energy, you do 100 damage. And for three water energy and two colorless energy, you do 180 plus damage. If and if your opponent's active Pokemon has damage counters on it, it does another 180 damage. So you're doing 360 damage with Tyrannical Tail. This is the deck where you're just throwing energy on everything and hoping it sticks so that you can nuke whatever's in front of you. 
This is a very cross your fingers deck. Uh, next up, we have three copies of Origin Form Palkia V, and three cop or yeah, two copies. So sorry of Origin Form Palkia V Star. So it's three two line here to take advantage of Star Portal to make sure that you can get energy on that Gyarados X and get it powered up. Also, uh, don't don't just uh, don't uh, hate the fact that you can attack with the Palkia V Star. Palkia V Star is a great attacker in its own right with that subspace swell. And it can hit for 280 easily. Yeah, so 60 plus damage. So you're doing the 60 base damage and 20 damage for each of your each bench Pokemon in place. It's, Especially come post rotation. Yeah, it's it's super, super good. Yep. And I, then Halucha. Halucha is our pseudo Zigzagoon replacement. Uh you have flying entry. So when you place Pokemon from your hand onto your turn or onto your bench rather during your turn, you may choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and put a damage counter each of them. So this is how you're getting Initial damage on those Pokemon. You want to make sure you're able to hit them uh, where it hurts so that you hit them very much where it hurts later on. Uh, we do have a copy of Luminion. You want to be able to find your supporter cards, especially especially Irida, so that you can find your item cards like Nest Ball and Level Ball, and in so doing, find Pokemon like Halucha. And Radiant Alakazam. So Radiant Alakazam is a fun one. So it says, once during your turn, you may move up to two damage counters from sorry i can barely see that from one of your opponent's pokemon to another of their pokemon thank you the reflection is very bad but basically <laughs> the idea is that uh you're not always going to take knockouts they're going to be retreating you're going to you're going to miss a knockout here and there uh this is a way to spread the love or in this case the pain uh to make sure that your knockouts are going to be effective and for the support cards we are running four copies of research to draw some cards Turns out drawing cards is good. Who knew? But Reclub did. That's actually his his catchphrase. Uh, Irida. Irida, three copies of Irida. Irida is not quite as strong after rotation because she can no longer get tool cards. Uh, tool cards, of course, are no longer items and therefore no longer a legal target for Irida, unfortunately. Uh, but she can still get a lot of item cards that are super useful. Uh, and also water type Pokemon, which we have been running quite a few of. And two copies of Boss's Orders, Gusting Up Pokemon. Uh, whatever Pokemon you need to, whether that's to boss stall or just actually boss for real. Two copies of Raihan. Raihan is supported from Evolving Skies. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon and then search your deck for whatever you want. One copy of it, uh, one copy of whatever you want, but still very, 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 very strong card. Uh, we need that extra acceleration. And a Serena. Serena, again, gusting card. It also has some draw benefits. Draw until you have five cards after you've discarded up to three. Now for items, four trophies of Trekking Shoes. Trekking Shoes, top card of your deck. If you don't like it, throw it away. Grab another one. Otherwise, put it in your hand. Those ball, four of ball. Yes, we absolutely want some uh, item cards here. We want to find our Pokemon so we can get them powered up. Four copies of Ultra Ball, three copies of Nest Ball, and also two copies of Level Ball. Level Ball helping us to find uh, our squishy Pokemon like Magikarp. We also have two copies of Escape Rope. A copy of Energy Search to make sure we are able to find it with Irida. Irida can't directly search for an energy card, but it can find Energy Search, which itself can find the energy. So it does give you that option. One copy of Hisuian Heavy Ball. Hisuian Heavy Ball allows you to find your squishy stuff, but also your stuff that's uh, very um, very necessary for your strategy. So that's your Halucha, your Luminium, your Radiant Top Kazam. Copy of Palpad if you are throwing away stuff early on, especially with research. You may need another boss you may need another raihan or another serena that's that's your out two copies of experience share you are very very energy hungry these are your ways to make sure that you have energy in play even after you've used all of your other energy uh lake acuity you are running water energy and gyarados is a bulky bulky boy <laughs> um, that is very frustrating um bulk, very, very bulky boy but we're gonna make it even bulkier with lake acuity lake acuity says if you have a water or fighting energy attached to your pokemon that pokemon takes 20 less damage from your opponent's pokemon's attacks so Gyarados goes from being a 300 HP monster to effectively a 320 HP monster. <laughs> and then finally, we are running 11 copies of Water Energy and two copies of Double Turbo Energy. So this is our baseline list for Origin, or not for Origin, for, for Gyarados from Scarlet Violet Base Set. And uh, hopefully it's a little bit of fun. Again, I don't think this is going to be especially competitive, but we're going to give it a shot. Let it, let it see if we can see the day, daylight out there and uh, make some Make some problems for uh, Bennett. Pikachu. We will shuffle Yo. up and we'll be right back. And we are back. All right, let's check um, the clip. Heads or tails? Heads. 
It is tails, so I will go first. Ryan won the coin flip. What? <laughs> now, can I win the Maze of Goza? I can. <laughs> you won lots of Maze of Goza. That was rough. I'm just waiting for the like the full prize of all the things. And we starting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, absolutely. Is that the emotional support Pikachu? <laughs> yeah. yeah. With, with a Glade poncho. Nice. I, right. I felt it was um, justifiable. Sure. Um, we're going Greninja. Nest Ball. Let's... Getting Radiant Grenada down, getting the Nest Ball, probably to get either a Shuppet or another Ralts. Would not be opposed to another Ralts. Ralts is... Ralts means Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is good. <laughs> also means Gallade, and Gallade is good. And Curlia, Curlia is good. It's like we have a Stage 2 engine thing again. The... If you were going second, that would be a cleffy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would not I mean, yeah, I think that would be fine. Because you can't attack, you're not going to get the teleportation burst off, so it's not as, yeah, I think not as easy fine. to switch into it. I think it's fine. I guess it's fine. He says it's the whole place burns in. Yes. And I will. Guardy. Uh, let's, let's start there for Guardy. Hmm. Well, I can't play half my hands. I'm going to play this. I think you start with that, yeah. Yeah. Jacking shoes. Seems good. Yeah, keep it. Hmm. Yeah, with decent hands, like, is there even a reason to put this down? Um, I don't really think so. Research. Or... Oh, no, duh, because of that. Yeah, yeah you want to do that. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mostly know how this works. Now, okay. unfortunately, the Gyarados from Go does not include damage output from the Gyarados X. No, it doesn't. Otherwise, that'd be pretty crazy. We need, we need to hold on at least. Oh, no, we really don't. Uh, so, you know. And then a lively grouping. It's called a cart party. We need more fish. That'd be very unfortunate if all the gear doses are prized. There's something fishy about are there, this. Are there deck. any Hebrew gentlemen in here that happen to be able to make a bunch of fish? Fails. It's just two fish in this party. Really? Really? Um, refinement. So you build lively grouping? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It is a bit rough to not see a talk with every I know, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Alignment. Yeah, I could have gone for it. A crystal. You went so yeah, you absolutely could have gone for it. Actually I think there was a reason to play the card we were talking about down. Yeah. Um So it turns out, and I know this is a surprise to any Andrew Mahomes in the world, but Irrit is a very good card. Um <laughs> Okay, dude, he he up 
I'm gonna give him shit for that one time. I'm I've been wrong about cards too, but I'm gonna give him shit. For I would buy the card, <laughs> but like concealed card. He's like, oh, it's not that good. It's not that good. It's like it's the best cards in the set. What are you talking about? For ball, we need that and. But yeah, we've all we've all been wrong on cards before. And that was it Omnipoke that was notoriously wrong about Arcus, Dialga, and Palkia B uh, GX. So yeah, mid card probably find some good space in the binder. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> the binder. Is that what we're calling the latest deck? <laughs> Kid is funny, like, what cards, like, find the most space in the meta. It's just like, yeah, this mana fee, like, we really need to, like, like make the art pop off on this one. It's just... mm -hmm. See, that's not at all. I like that it got the, the alternate art, though. Yeah, it looks really good. All this really, really pretty, too. I love, I love when cards, like, when you're, when you're initially looking at them, they're just really awful, or they don't look like they'll ever see play. And then, like, randomly they do, and it's, like, really important. They, like, how hideous, like, art gaps is. I'm, I'm, I'm not even art gaps. I'm not even talking about art gaps. I'm talking about cards that you're like, why is that card? <laughs> like, there's a, there's a, there's a, in Crimson Invasion, uh, there's a Chimeco. Random, random Chimeco has a set called Bell of Silence. It's not Switch, it's in here, it's not. No. That's false search. So, um, Bell of Silence basically says your opponent can't play any Pokemon down with abilities. Does 10 damage. Woohoo, right? Yeah. Uh, turns out that was a really good counter against the yeah, deck out of the time. Like, and it was a really important card for the deck. Um, just went from being bulk to actually being useful overnight. Funny how it works. And it's a common, not even a card you really think to set aside, it's a card you just like lump into your, uh, your little white box and send off to. Safari Zone to get your little bulk, bulk <laughs> reimbursement and maybe get a booster box the latest set. Nope. Actually soft play. Quite a bit of it, in fact. What's the trade for the booster box? I don't know if they're even accepting it right now. <laughs> uh, they The prices of bulk have gone down so far. I'm not sure very many places are. I've never done it myself, so I do not know what it was and what it might be now. Yeah. Uh oh. Is that the first piece? Yeah. yeah okay at least it's not like the fourth already that would be see that would be my luck if i were playing against him right now gyarados would already be dead because there's four pieces of manera and he'd just be like and we're gonna we're gonna do this thing and then the uh, explosion yeah cause, i mean the math isn't bad i was thinking i mean it's like you can uh you can take that out if it's an option everything i think i'm just missing the the palkia i think i'm gonna be pretty slow yeah missing palkia feels terrible yeah i should have digged for it I do wonder if you'd have found it anyway, but it's still... There's two, 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 two. Yeah. And I had the, yeah, having the... So you don't have it in your hand anymore, so you're talking about the, the fish, though. You have been... another piece in hand. Well, the fish would have been an oh, Irida. Irida yeah, yeah. would have actually gotten exactly what you needed, because you could have gotten, like, a nest ball and uh, the V. Yeah, yeah, it would have been It would have been golden. a good turn. Yeah. I didn't see that play until too late, honestly. Yeah. Turns out you're as good. Who knew? <laughs> She's actually a, practically a staple card of 345, too. Here it is, a very good card in 345. For, uh, like, Keldeo plays her, Phalanx plays her, what else plays her? A lot plays her. She's really strong. Pass. Yep. Pretty much anything with Radiant Greninja plays her. Nest Ball. Maybe it's Best Ball. Nest ball. Just remember, if you nest ball the minion, you don't get the effect. Yeah, yeah, it goes directly in the bench for sure. Correct. That's gonna take some people getting used to. And yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, it's gonna be huge. Oh yeah. Plays, yeah. and I am not gonna let people take it back. Oh, I wouldn't. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so once it's once it's on the floor, it's gone. It's like crowbat on your path. Same situation. So no. Yeah, e- Eli it's actually gone. scooped because of that. Yeah. Because it's down. It's gone. Did you just stand up? It was because he had one card left in hand after that, and he he forgot that the path was in play, and he just scooped after that. Did he have a vacuum on the other hand? Was that the last card? No. no. Yeah, he's done. Because his, his last card was a Palkia V-Star, but he didn't have anything in his uh, discard, and he had Palkias and Kirims out on the field. So he was he was helping to get stuff off the bat. But See, I think the move is to... Basically, if I, if I go for the Luminion, I gotta trash one of these. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Risk it for the biscuit. And you disc, did you discard it? We already have one of those, right? Uh, no, no, it's on the deck. I think they're still on the deck. I'll probably do that. Yeah, so, so we should price check, but we'll mm-hmm. wait for that. Um, yeah, that's probably the safest bet. And then, yeah. That way you can get a ball full. Well, that answers that question. Let's check for the other two cards we need real quick. Watch her not even be able to. So it's that, yeah. and, then... and then... An item and a waterfall. So we want the... You yeah, want that. Oh, um, we, we don't have to check, actually, right? I... Oh, no? I will get the... We'll get the double on that. Because we can't have all of this turn anyway. Yeah, it's true. But we can grab an Ultra Ball Let's or something. them both up. So, yeah. That way they're both less squishy. Yeah. Get the Ultra Ball. Because we have one card left in hand, right? Yeah. Do we have another? Okay, yeah. Actually, no. We're yeah, we're at, yeah, we're, we're, yeah we got to get, uh, yeah, yeah, we got to get the other thingy. It's a an item card. Um, there's nothing else. There's no item cards to give us a draw. I mean, there is actually one, but that's not what you want to be drawing off. You can do it though. Yeah, why not? Screw it. There's the item card. Hey, do you have to reveal the item yeah, card? Yeah, yeah. Gotta trick and choose. It does allow us to evolve both the active and the bench, so we don't have any squishy guys. Yeah. So you grab the Gyarados for the... Um... Yeah, Gyarados. Yeah, you got the, one. And, uh, yeah. one in hand, and then we grab the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was the same card. Yes, yes. That's... And the pass. I don't actually think it would have passed. Oh, it's well, I would have actually played it. Um, oh, yeah, duh. Well, that's so good. Yeah, I missed this so, you know, right pass, but. I meant. I mean, if if for nothing else, in the thin, but I would also do it just because we want a second V down. If, if, he, if he ropes that one or gusts that one, we're just, well, yeah. we'll it. Yeah, and absolutely. Sealed cards. Research. Is that the fourth piece or the third? It's like the V Union and like the Reggie's. I, I like to think of the Reggie's deck, like assembling all like the pieces is like a. Like the Power Rangers deck. Yeah. It's like, Power Rangers. Assemble. One Mega Reggie. Level one. She seemed to feel the level ball. There's already a free curling in place, so it probably doesn't really need it. I was like, the only thing I could grab at the moment is uh, a yeah. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really do any good. I don't really think like I need to grab some clefkies. Um.
assignment. That really only be just to stall like the stall out the, the B star until you get other something else to attack with. And there it is. <laughs> There's the humongous threat. He's so big, he's like four times the threat of everything else. We're gonna draw research next, and it's off to the races. I hope so. That would be wonderful. Is this turn three already? Yeah. Man. The cat is so lazily. It's like just the, just the right amount of cat. Too much iron. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's ridiculous. That is attachment for turn. Attach for turn. Double attach retreat. He's so bad. Mm -hmm. I already know what's coming and it hurts. <laughs> At least it's only two price cards. Two price card penalty. And it's, it's ridiculous, yeah. Final burn for knockout. We needed the acuity. <laughs> That's what we needed. I'm coming in with the sound effects. They're good sound effects. Oh man, what is this? Gyarados, stop. <laughs> What's crazy too is there's like no cooldown style effect on the, on the, on the effect of that attack for YouTube Union. So you just. Yeah, I just keep it running and keep hitting it. Hitting First thing I would have promoted the Luminium. Yeah, just to like keep, uh, yeah, to just keep to the, keep, keep an attacker alive. alive. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. I honestly think this is just a lost cause. Yeah, this is over. This is over. <laughs> like, uh, I'm sorry, I warned y'all. Because, like, I mean, you also got to remember, I can also heal 200 damage. Yeah. I mean, so I can reduce that thing's damage output by 180. I think you should I think you should have another crack and pilot your deck, Jason. <laughs> I don't think I did this justice at all. I don't think it was you. I think it just didn't want to work. <laughs> anyway, we scoop it and go to game two. We get a little bonus, extra, a bonus, bonus video. A bonus, bonus, bonus game. So that was both, crash. Both, honestly, that's how it felt when I was playing. Both uh, shoppers were uh, prized. I kind of figured we prized, I didn't drop one down. Nah, uh, both shoppers. Gotcha. So, like what I didn't drop what the one down. do again? It's the beginning of it the item. In the bannet. I think you, you play it evolved from the bannet. The better of the bannet. You want to play it? I mean, either way, go for it, man. All right. Yeah, I think I think you're totally. I know about the, like the Irida combo and everything. I think it's like I'm a little. I, I get the general concept. I'm a little like more. It's like I feel like it's the same way. Like when I'm playing like Lost Box for the first time, it's kind of like fitting the pieces together a little bit. I mean, to be fair, my brain completely skipped it. My my sleep deprived brain. The poor thing just kind of whistles when the air goes through. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Ooh. Changing the guard. That way I can get my butt whooped with the gyros too. And we'll coin flip it since it's a different opponent. Alright, we're not gonna let Gyarados go down with just one game. Yeah, honestly, once that Mewtwo TV Union comes out, it, it just feels so bad. When me uh Garrett, or when uh Guard of War's in play. Because that the means of just becomes a monster. Because I could literally just heal any damage. Yeah. Well you and heal, I can't one shot damage. you. Yeah, because like Well I can, but I have Yeah, the best possible so turn is you get down the Halucha, you you get you get the Palkia down, get the energy on uh you, you get the you get you get the damage counter and that way you can pull off the knockout easily. You need a, the problem is you need pieces to yeah, pull off. They all have to kind of come and, together. and like three quarters of their energies is already difficult to deal with. It's also really rough too because Gyarados is not a Pokemon B, so you can't even use Melanie. It's just it's not an option. Uh, tails. That is not on the table, sir.
I will go first. He, he, he always complains about not wanting to coin flip, yeah, yeah. but if he's playing against me, he gets it anyway. No, I'm saying live does not give me the coin flip. And real life does not give me the starting Pokemon. I will not do a um, Raul and take my Moldy. I heard, you are. Oh, I heard about that. Well, okay, so it's not his fault. I'm sorry, it's not. He, no, it's literally it, like the, it's the production team's fault, and it, I they should have de-escalated that, but whatever. The whole thing with like the I forget the other game with like the prices on the side, that and also, like, like what what's really bad about that he prodded probably would have won that series if it was not for that. Yeah, yeah. He he easily would have won it, and then um, what also hurt was game three. He had the wrong lucky out. He had the incorrect one, and he needed the other one, and he could have got game. That is wrong. Let's watch Morgan again, shall we? By all means, Morgan six times. There's two there. Nailed it. <laughs> Take my Molly. The last card. <laughs> like, Is that Morgan? No, I did. Okay, look at this. Look at this inconsistency in the dragon shields. You can. It's really obvious when the light's partially off like this. The wave. Can you? Not even the wave. Look at the color on these prize cards. Can you tell the one that's the odd man out? Bottom right one, or is it, I can't tell if it's the light or not. It's or the light one. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Can, Ryan, can you tell which one it is? The odd man out. Yeah, hundred percent. I can also tell the active is a um, proxy card because you flip your. Energies backwards, for yeah. the and then these these sleeves are thinner than the older ones, so you can actually see through, which is horrible. Um, yeah. Anyway, you're going first, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, did we say who's going first? Yes. Yes, we did. Hey, hey. Uh, Come here. 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 Come You know what I want? A magic card. That's actually not what I want. But um what I want is a radiant freaking Greninja. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But I feel like he's prized. It's not in the deck. Yeah. Oh. He's remember the deck right now. Oh. Sad right. face. I mean, yeah, sad face dot right? Need to get well, the, you already have the other radiant because you have the Alakazam in there. If it was old yeah. Polkia, you would be uh, getting a battle VIP pass. Yeah, the, the, hmm, interesting. What are you grabbing the Metric Carp with? I'm going to put it in here in a second if I can find the damn thing. There it is. Nestle. Yeah. I'd originally floated it to the top and then. Kept putting stuff on top of it. <laughs> I love cats, man. They are all crazy. But especially that one. I love how he decides he wants to play right now.
Okay, we have something. And I think we're going to rule some region. I think we're going to rule some regions, yeah. That's really a ultra. I think you would be. Refinement. Faults. Judge. Mm. I honestly wonder if that deck should be running Path of Peak and Vacuums instead of freaking Beach Court. I feel like Path would be better. Because the deck's already vicious, and Judge Path would make it worse. What's Beach Court do again? Uh, Retreat Path reduced by one for basics. I feel like the basics are only in here for, like, really the Ralts and the Clap Keys, but I feel like Path would be Yeah, it's to give you a better shot at getting the Clap Keys out in the active spot, but... At least a split, like a 2-1 split. So this is a thing. Don't tell me. Yeah, oh, freaking call back. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is part of the problem with having the dragon shields too. Their inconsistency in the color is this is so egregious. Like it's very obvious which one it is. Yeah. This is from two different packs. Oh yeah, you're right. You can totally see through these. It's like two different plastics too. Like you can. There's a very clear difference in uh, quality. Yeah. On the two. You mean now. These are dragon shields. These are, yeah, the ones you were playing. We were playing with earlier, like those, uh, yeah. and the, the other deck. They were they're tons, and the uh, unfortunately quality level was pretty drastically different. I know. It's, I found like a big pack of like ultra pros. Uh, it just puts these two this turn, right? I believe so. Yeah. Um. Let's go, Eternal Darkness. To quote my favorite show, and so it begins. Draw for turn. Oh look, a card I can't play. Let's <laughs> put wing falls. I feel like one of the cards you couldn't play would be Ultra Ball or the Heavy Ball. Oh, but Heavy would have been nice to go drop a card. Can't even play. I can't even play you. I like some ultra balls. <clears throat> really research. Tomorrow we'll test it with the path vacuum. Package instead of the boots cords. <clears throat> That's small. Let's 
let's go get the um, ninja. Ninja from. Yeah, especially gets to like new, like take a new retreat. You have like. <laughs> Mew has everything. <laughs> You're okay, man. It's power. Really? Refinement. Refinement. Sorry. Mm. Yep. Started for. Yep. Get parts. What's from the kitty? Okay. Target. Oh, come on. What? Pick a new one. <laughs> what do you mean, target? I had to play a boss. <laughs> no, I played research. That's why I was confused for a second, but. Yeah, we know we can't boss and research in the same turn, right, Ryan? I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't boss and research in the same turn. It was Clara and research. And was literally between literally five people and people in chat, like, we all got confused because, like, we were all it stuck on the math. It was such a long math. turn. Yeah, it was a long turn. We, we were focused on the Ooh. math once you had said, like, you need seven, right? And then we got focused on the math. Yeah, we got distracted. We were all excited that, like, there was going to be a big explosion caused by Zashi and me. <laughs> and completely spaced the fact that he had already played a support card. Hey. Quit. Quit screwing with cords. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, but they have a lot of fun with that. Let me break out the spell for Star Bells. Don't know how your hand is, so we will see how this goes. Ooh. You're gonna get um persuaded a little harder, Iro. Stop. <laughs> you, you you know you're in trouble. Turn no drop turn tracking shoes. Going entry on these two. So what, 10 each or 20 each? 10.
Wow. That's a major feels bad. You're one short. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm aware I am. I'm yeah, quite yeah. aware. Um, hmm. Question is, can you actually get the return hit or the return hit? To be fair, you don't need that much to get it, but you do need at least something. Now I can dig. Dig. I know you can. You got, dig for the bump. You got two, well, three cards, destroy cards plus square. So, uh, we're going to star portal and. Pray. Oh. Water, Rebellions are waterfall for living on a prayer. Turns out Gyarados is just too much. I mean, Cloud Crystal. It sucks too, because like, there's a lot of other ways you could build Gyarados that might make it slightly better, but it's still not going to be good enough. <laughs> like, you could use Gabe Job off, but then you're hurting yourself and making yourself squishier. You could use uh, Radiant Charger Bug. Lost box situation. it. You, you could Lost Box it. That is an option. You could definitely do that. You know, just energy. A lot. Yeah. Lost box with energy, energy or XP share. I meant so greedy. Honestly, it generally feels like to me once that Mewtwo Union comes out, this deck can't win. Yeah. And that, 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 this, that deck is very fast at getting it out. Yeah, and you've been consistent in like every game with it. Yeah, it's it's literally been every single game I've tested. Every single one, usually by turn two or three. Yeah. Wild. There's the... And final burn for three. By the way, two were prized. So when two. I got the two beach courts. So when I got the first two, it wasn't there. So I counted because there was none left in the deck. Yeah, it couldn't be the card prior. GG. Oh. That's game. Boop. I can't attack. I already used Star Portal. I done all that from the There's my Luminium that I couldn't use. There's my other Pokia. Well, I, I definitely played poorly, but that did make me feel less bad. Oh, you yeah, didn't play that bad, just we were fine. It's just the deck's too much. Yeah, so it's really too much. So there basically what I did was uh, I primarily used so I knew I had a beach court that was in here from early on, and the deck runs three. So like I know the ratio in the sure. deck. Sure. So I used the fog crystal to see what was in the deck. Yeah, it's check. Um, and see if there was a beach court there. Then I used the Peonia, uh, because I knew I couldn't dig for the beach court anymore. So there's no need for me to do all this to try to dig. No, yeah, there's at least no there's, a, there's there. at least one there. Um, yeah. So I mm -hmm. dig for the Peonia. And all that. Um, then I grab Peonia. Out of the price cards? Yeah. Well, play it. I have four price cards for me. I can choose up to three. So, you have probabilities because I have good. two in here, I'm guaranteed one. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I got the first two. It wasn't any of those. So, like, I double checked here to make sure. And but then, I didn't know that about like, that card. The fact that you can you can play, like, pick your placement of them is, like, pretty, pretty it's good. It's extremely strong. Yeah. yeah. That's why you only have to look at three of them, I think. Yeah. Because that's how they're balancing it out. Because if you can look at all six and just go, 
so <laughs> it's uh so i definitely knew that and that that's what i was needing to knock out the gyarados in one shot was the, the stadium, stadium uh, yeah so okay gyarados i mean i guess it, there's probably other ways to build this that might work better but better in this case is not any good still um definitely I mean, not ban it uh then <laughs> There, so I, I'm just gonna say this uh, straight. I think, like, because originally I built this with Blastoise, and I did not like it with Blastoise. Blast is too slow. Um, there's also the Cryogonal build for this, which I have not tried to play with, but I, I just feel like at that point you're putting like 18 energy into your deck to try to hit it. It's more than Rhydon runs. It's too much. It's just too much. It's I think the only deck that much. I have ever played that has ran that much energy that's not like a base set deck is Blissephalon. See, Blissephalon only ran like 15 energy, though. It's not even 18. It's still way higher than Blissephalon. Because it's literally almost literally a quarter of your deck is literally just energy. Oh, for Blissephalon, yeah, it was exactly a quarter of the deck. But... I loved Blissephalon GX. It was a big boomstick. Well, I'm talking about the baby one that you discarded. Yeah. Screw baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this last Friday's live stream. If you did not catch Friday's live stream, do go back and watch it. It is Spide Ops versus Bennett. Uh, a little spoiler for you. Um, and that's pretty good. Uh, maybe you would enjoy watching Spy Ops get slapped around. I don't know. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace out.